I want to speak to you tonight on the subject of Jesus' relationship to the Torah. If you have your Bibles, you may wish to turn with me, please, to Matthew's Gospel, chapter 5. There are recorded for us in verses 21 through 48 what scholars call antitheses, six antithetical statements in which Yeshua, Jesus, says, you have heard, or it was said of old, but I say unto you. The historical record is quite clear that at best the Christian view of the law has been ambivalent. At worst, it's been antagonistic. And so when we have interpreted the life of Jesus of Nazareth, we have done so in view of some 20 centuries of Christian tradition that cast him in some measure of tension, even opposition to the Torah. For example, this text, John 1, 17, virtually every translation, even to date, will say the law came through Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus, even though this conjunction of antagonism, but, is not in the Greek text. It is an insertion and interpolation by translators. For indeed, John is saying, we have received blessing upon blessing. The Torah was the blessing through Moses, and now the fullness of grace and truth through the prophet likened to Moses, Jesus of Nazareth. Because of this, no passage has been more discussed by scholars than this series of antitheses. It's considered kind of the quintessential example of Jesus being in tension with the Torah and in showing himself superior to the Torah. But is that how we should read it? Is that in fact a fair exegesis if we go back into the context of Jewish thought of halakhic rulings within the first century? The ones we're here to honor at this conference, Flusser, Safrai, and Lindsay, demonstrated and documented very impressively that, in fact, the truth is that Jesus' teaching was fully consistent with Jewish understanding of the Torah in the first century. It was coherent with Jewish thought. It was conversant with Jewish rabbinic halakhic discussions. It was comprehensible to the Jewish listeners to whom Jesus addressed or spoke. That in fact, as Professor David Flusser himself notes, that Jesus was fully, fully Torah observant. Let me read you one quote from Flusser. Quote, Jesus was scrupulous in keeping the Jewish commandments. He lived in a Jewish world that was flourishing within the framework of both the written Torah and the oral Torah. It is true that in the New Testament we have some disputes ascribed to Jesus concerning the keeping of some particular commandments. But these disputes touch on minutiae. 